Hey everybody, Jeff Manchester here. I have opened in front of me Isotope RX5 Advanced. I've got it running in full screen mode. The reason for this is I'm going to show you how to take audio that's destined for a podcast or a YouTube video or what have you and really take it to the next level. Help it sound as professional as possible. Because if you're an audio engineer, you want to make it so that the audio is seamless with the video. You want people to focus on the content and not on the byproducts of a presentation, which could be anything from sibilance to room tone to plosives, all that kind of annoying stuff that takes away from uh, the performance that the presenter is presenting. So in this case, um, I've got some audio here from a buddy of mine. His name is Daniel Jordan. He runs a YouTube channel. It's a young, relatively young channel, but it's doing really, really, really well. And what it does is it's called Cortis Source, and he traces the um, the evolution of a popular piece of media, whether it's a television show or a movie, from its sort of humble beginnings to the show that we all know and enjoy, you know, today. So he's done a couple of videos on Rick and Morty and Bob's Burgers. They're terrific. You know, I recommend you check them out. This is from a video, a forthcoming video, about uh, color correction and color. Uh, so um, he's, uh, I've been working with him for a little while now, so he sent this, uh, this footage over, and I'm just going to play about... 20 or 30 seconds of the intro and then I'm going to highlight some spots that I'm hearing a couple little problems and I'm going to show you how to treat those problems with RX-5. So I'm going to shut up and let Daniel talk. I should say that if you want to know more about RX-5, head over to Isotope's uh, YouTube page. they got a guy over there named Evan Allen and he he actually knows what he's talking about. Uh, this is just a quick and dirty um, little demonstration of my flow with RX. So head over there if you want more, but uh, if you want to stick around I think you'll learn something. So uh, I'm going to let Daniel talk. Here we go. About 30 seconds from the intro. All the beautiful colors in the world play a critical role in the battle between good versus evil on screen. They can be used to draw clear lines between sides, demonstrate feelings and emotions, and even trick the audience to display false allegiances. The role of color can be clear and simple, or complex and inconclusive. What are the principles of color on screen? Let's paint a picture in the Court of Source. So right away I'm hearing some issues. I, I should note that Daniel has, you can tell, he's got a very dynamic voice, he has a good microphone, he's in a room that's relatively dampened. There's some reverb going on, but I'm not that worried about it. Um, what I am worried about uh, are a couple of plosives, uh, some energy from uh, some S's that could be tamed, and a couple other little clicks and things. So let me point out a couple of issues. So let's just zoom in here on this moment here. Let's see if you can hear what I hear. Colors in the world play a critical role in... Did you hear that? It's a plosive. It's a sudden burst of energy uh, coming from Dan's mouth, and it basically doesn't all get caught by the pop screen that he's got uh, right in front of his microphone. It leaks into the mic, and we get a sudden burst of energy that can be a little bit disorienting. So watch the meter here, down right there. I've reset it, but watch what happens. We go over unity gain, and we get a big burst of, uh, of low-end information. Watch it again. Colors in the world play a critical role. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of reduction there, so we have to treat that. The other thing I want to sort of bring your attention to is some sibilance, some um, high frequency energy. It's happening right around here, and I, I guess a couple other points throughout, but especially right here at about the 16 second mark. Have a listen. And emotions, and even trick the audience to display false allegiances. So right when he says false allegiances, it's very shrill, very tinny, so we want to take care of that too. And there's one more thing, which is you can probably see it right here. It's a big sort of click that happens. And this is either caused by, you know, some dehydration or, I don't know, something funny going on. Not really sure. Have a listen. Allegiances. The role of color can be clear and simple. So when he says can be clear, watch the meter. It's going to jump. The role of color can be clear and simple. Now, it's just a little click, but... Audio engineers, you know, that stuff uh, doesn't get by us, doesn't get by our red pen. We hear it and we want to take care of it. So um, I'm going to bounce back to the very beginning. And the first thing I'm going to do is something I haven't really talked about, and that's maintain and control for dynamics. So what I mean by that is, you know, the human voice is very capricious. It changes very quickly. It goes, moves in and out, changes in volume. One way to treat that is to use a compressor, but I don't like compressors very much because they can reduce dynamic range. Well, that's what they do. They get rid of dynamic range, um, and they make everything sound kind of squished and stuff. Isotope has a really handy little sort of module here called the Leveler, which will take care of some of the S's we heard, and it'll do some volume automation, which means we don't have to compress anything. We can retain the soul and the life and the performance of Daniel. So I'm going to bring up the Leveler right here. Click on that. It's done some math. 
to sort of ascertain what the total root mean squared is, the total sort of volume of the entire audio event. It's saying 18, minus 18.2. 18 um, I'm going to set the target level here at about, I'm going to set it to maybe 19 right there. I'm going to leave the dynamics at 65. I'm going to leave the S reduction there too. I'm going to drag my mouse and highlight the section so I'm only having the module effect this section right here. So we're going to see with some uh, nodes and other visual aids here some gain changes that uh, that the leveler module is doing sort of very cleverly. I should mention that if anyone's done any post work they'll know that typically what you do is you ride the fader. Um, basically isotope takes what used to take a couple hours you know of, uh, of gain riding and just it does it in like a matter of seconds. Watch this. So boom right away we're seeing that certain audio events that are a little quiet uh, compared to other audio events it's going to bring the volume up so check this out right let's let's check this out right here you can see that we have a, a sort of quiet audio event and it followed by a much louder one and we can see that the gain automation it's taking that level up a little bit and then bringing it down because we have some louder audio information so watch this is evil on screen it can be used to draw clear lines between sides so it's doing intelligent gain automation but it's not jarring we're not hearing the fader bump up and down uh, such that you know it's kind of disorienting so I like that a lot and it also took care of some of the S's let's go back and listen to the 16 second mark to see if it took care of some of that sibilance audience to display false allegiances let's bypass let's go down here to the history section right there it's a very clever undo um, kind of feature let's go over here and listen to it so this is without any leveling and any DSing. Trick the audience to display false allegiances. The and this is with it. Audience to display false allegiances. So those S's, those are tamed. They're exactly where I want them to be. I'm really happy with that. Now, the next thing I want to take care of are those plosives. Remember we heard one right around here at about the three second mark? In the world, play a critical role and we also had some fun stuff happening here on the meter. So let's take care of that. And we can do that very easily with the deplosive module. So I'm going to click on that. And um, I'm going to use a preset, uh, light removal. And what this is going to do, it's going to just sort of look for areas and instances of a lot of uh, information on the low end and just tackle those. And we have a handy little preview feature here so we can see exactly what the module is doing without committing and making any big changes. So let's just hit preview. So I've chosen light removal from the, um, the preset menu. I'm going to go back to the beginning of the clip and hit preview so you can hear it with it and then without it. All the beautiful colors in the world play a critical role in the battle between so when he says play a critical role, I'm going to bypass it. All the beautiful colors in the world play a critical. So he says play, and we're getting some meter action right there. Let's go back, unbypass it, and let's play it again here with the module on. All the beautiful colors in the world play a critical role. And this is with it off. All the beautiful colors in the world play a critical role. So I'm, I like what this is doing. It's retaining a lot of the energy of the, of the low end. Daniel has a nice sort of low voice. It's retaining that, but it's just targeting those few instances of, um, of, uh, of low energy. So I'm just going to, again, I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to hit process and commit my changes. Of course, I'm not totally committing them because I can always go back as I showed you before. Hit process in a matter of like seconds. Boom. We've taken care of them. So already we've tamed the S's, we've controlled the plosives. Let's just take care of this little click here, this little mouth click. And uh, one way to do that, or my preferred way, is just to go to the D click module right there. Boom. And I'm going to set, I'm going to take a look at the presets here. Um, maybe short digital clicks. I want to do that. And um, let's see here. And there's no thump or discontinuity, it's just one big click there. So before I make any changes, you know, I think I'm okay with these settings, but I want to preview what this module is going to do. So I'm going to hit preview and go back a couple seconds before that clicky audio event happens. To display false allegiances, the role of color can be clear and simple or complex and inconclusive. So that's done a pretty good job of taking care of it. Let's hear it bypass. So without allegiances, the role of color can be clear and simple. And we can get a double sort of check to see if this module is doing anything by looking at the metering. So you can see that we kind of peaked past unity gain on the last pass. If I preview it, let's keep our eye on the, uh, the level and see if anything happens.
its allegiances. The role of color can be clear and simple or Boom, we don't even come close, whereas before... ...the audience to display false allegiances. The role of color can be clear and simple... So, boom. And we'll preview this again. ...display false allegiances. The role of color can be clear and... I might just up the sensitivity a touch and see if that does anything. ...false allegiances. The role of color can be clear and simple or complex and... I like that. So, I'm just going to slide over this section here and go process. And we can already see that these um, these crests have come down quite a bit. Not such that, you know, again, we get a jarring difference in gain or anything like that, but just a little bit. So he does click, but he doesn't click such that it's kind of annoying to our ears. Now, the last thing that I do is I would go over here and I would sort of, I would put a, an overall corrective EQ. I'm not necessarily trying to correct anything per se, but I really like this little, this little module here. And um, I'm going to, Let's see, pick one, um, maybe general enhance. Maybe I'll try that and maybe boost up in the, uh, maybe dip down here and f at 400, maybe 500 and boost up a little bit there. And again, before I make any changes, I can just preview them. So let's preview. All the beautiful colors in the world play a critical role in the battle Bypass. between good versus evil on screen. It can be used to draw clear lines between sides, demonstrate feelings and emotions, and even trick the audience to display false allegiances. The role of color can be clear and simple or complex and inconclusive. What are the principles of color on screen? Let's paint a picture in the Court of Source. So again, you know, this is how far we've come. I'm going to process this because I really like this little thing that I made. If I want, I can save it as a preset. In this case, I'm just going to hit process. Two milliseconds, it's done. Go back to the original state. Listen for the clicks and the pops and the plosives. All the beautiful colors in the world play a critical role in the battle between good versus evil on, on screen. The color can be clear and simple or complex and, and listen for the S's right here what at the end. What are the principles of color on screen? Let's paint a picture in the court of source. And after. All the beautiful colors in the world play a critical role in the battle between good versus evil on screen. The of color can be clear and simple or complex and inconclusive. Let's paint a picture in the court of source. So again, with a couple quick moves, and I don't know how long this video is, we've taken this little intro and made it way easier on the ears, but we've retained um, the performance, the subtleties, and all the rest of it. So RX5 Advanced, it's a dope plugin for any sort of post-production um, applications or just anything you're working on, really. I think you can put it through this and make it way easier on the listener. Um, it's like half off if you're a student. You don't even have to be studying music. You could be uh, pursuing the field of soil management, one of the sexiest degrees in the world, and you can still apply to get half off this amazing, amazing post-production suite. So anyway... Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, blah, 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 blah. And check out Court of Source. Um, and yeah, see you back somewhere on the channel sometime. Take it easy.